Let's turn to the latest on a coronavirus. A couple of headlines today. Some news first on the treatment front. So Eli Lilly shares are up just around three and a half percent today. Now the company applying for an emergency use authorization with the FDA for its coronavirus treatment. Anjali Kamlani has the latest on this for us. Anj. Thanks, Shauna. Yep. So uh, Eli Lilly looking to get at least some part of the market using its antibody treatment. We know that we saw for the very first time really on, on a big stage, the use of antibody treatments when President Donald Trump was uh, administered uh, a the maximum dose of Regeneron's um, antibody cocktail over the weekend. So now this is sort of setting the stage for even more interest. Um, it was supposed to be that this type of treatment would acted as a bridge until we get the full vaccine approval. It seems like that's coming to fruition with analysts saying that Regeneron's is likely to follow suit after Eli Lilly. So Eli Lilly right now is saying that it can produce um, about 100,000 doses for October with up to a million doses by the end of the year. Um, and then looking to uh, apply for an additional EUA so that it can do uh, use sort of similar, like a, a cocktail, two different types of antibody treatments, so combined therapy um, for uh, patients. And this EUA um, is something that's uh, really important to note because it uh, specifies only for um, high risk, mild to moderate patients. And that's important because right now we're looking, you know, at the debate around vaccine EUAs. Um, and it's important to note that the vaccine companies also have the ability to sort of narrowly uh, apply for an EUA that applies to just very specific groups uh, of the population. So waiting to see what those uh, end up being. Meanwhile, we know that uh, Pfizer and BioNTech, the two that are coming with the lead uh, candidate in the U.S. are also now targeting the uh, in Europe with a basically the equivalent of an emergency use authorization with rolling data uh, to help inform that decision on when they can start marketing uh, the vaccine as well as then submit for full approval. Hey, Andre, I just want to ask you just some of the headlines that we got out of Boston because we were talking about uh, some of the steps that New York City was taking yesterday. Now we have Boston delaying its next step in reopening schools, the number of cases rising there. What's your sense is just in terms of the public health officials that you're talking to, the doctors that you're in contact with? Is this something that we think is going to continue to happen over the coming months as we really head into winter? Absolutely. This is the thing that they've been watching and warning about, quite honestly, for quite some time. Um, the expectation is that, without a doubt, uh, cases will continue to rise. Whether or not, uh, you know, strategies are put into place to prevent a repeat of earlier this year remains the question. We already know what we saw uh, in New York with uh, schools uh, shutting back down to distance learning. Um, and other practices and strategies in place around the country. Uh, we also know that uh, states like North Dakota, for example, still experiencing, uh, you know, part of what would really be uh, wave one uh, of the outbreak and continuing to battle that. So it does remain to be seen uh, what the winter holds for the rest of the country and whether or not, again, we can uh, prevent a repeat of earlier this year. All right, Anj, thanks for breaking that down.